Now, Spain's Prime Minister has promised millions of dollars in reconstruction aid to La Palma because of the ongoing volcanic eruption there. Dan Johnson has this update. Incredibly, this eruption is now into a third week and it keeps getting stronger. The volcano is producing even more lava with even more force. That's why all that lava, all that ash is pouring up into the sky higher and higher. And that means more of a risk to a bigger area, the potential for more people to be evacuated on top of the 6,000 or so who have been out of their homes for a fortnight now. And I was talking to the director of the Canary Islands Volcano Institute, who said he expects this eruption to continue for at least another 10 10 days, potentially another two months. And even then, when the volcanic eruption stops, when the lava stops flowing, that's not the end of the story. He said it could take years to recover from this because there are vast lava trails right across the landscape here. They have cut through towns and villages, destroyed over a thousand homes. Communication lines and infrastructure have been destroyed. So what to do with that lava, how to live with it is a major question for the future here that is dominating the future potential of people's lives and their livelihoods as well. But there are people still living here right in the shadow of the volcano. Some of them saying they've had enough now after a fortnight of that thing thundering, rumbling right through their lives day and night. Some have had enough, they can't get sleep, they want to leave. Some are making the decision to get to safer places. But then I've also spoken to people who live with that volcano effectively in their back garden who say, no, as long as the authorities will let me, I'm going to stay, I'm going to see it out. But this is already much worse than anybody has ever seen on this volcanic island. It's produced twice the amount of lava of the previous eruption 50 years ago and it's still unknown how long that will continue, how much more lava it will produce and how much more destruction it will cause. Dan Johnson, BBC News, La Palma.